Kamala Harris is a liar and she is making on the ignorance of the American public in order to sway votes her way. The very thing that the Democrats are telling you that the Republicans do, they're doing. Except Trump has not lied on any of you. But that was an all out lie. The first thing I want you to understand about propaganda is that it understands the way the subconscious works. People accept truth that they hear over and over and over again. And so the reason she keeps applying the abortion bans, which we'll talk about in a second to Trump, is because she wants you to subconsciously believe that Trump is behind you not being able to have termination in this state. So the more time she can tell you Trump abortion ban, Trump abortion ban, Trump abortion ban, she's literally programming you that abortion bans are connected to Trump and thus, and thus playing you for your fear of your reproductive rights. But here's the problem with, with the overturning of Roe v. Wade, which said that the federal government cannot be in your reproductive business. That's between you, your body, and you let the states handle it. Number one, that happened when Biden was in office. And number two, what that means is no one on the federal level has anything to do with any ban. As a matter of fact, the overturning protected you from ever having a federal ban on terminations. Kamala is banking on your ignorance here. Let's go deeper. And again, because she's banking on your ignorance, she thinks that you think, which I know you do, that she can come in and sign an executive order and all of a sudden on a federal level, you're going to have all these rights back when the federal government, when the Supreme Court has already spoken and said this is a civil liberty, not a civil right. We do not get involved in civil liberties. And so it doesn't matter if she signed the executive order because the Supreme Court is going to come right back because they already overturned Roe versus Wade and said that it was unconstitutional. The president has been set. They are not going to allow an executive order to go through that is outside of the president's powers and that is a part of what the checks and balances are for and why we have things like the supreme court so ultimately kamala can't come in and do anything she is tricking you so number one she is trying to program you to think that these bans is happening on a state level on a state level not a federal government level on a state level are because of trump and she's programming you by calling that trump abo abortion ban and she's programming you to think that trump was in office which he wasn't technically if we're going to put the president in it it's a biden administration abortion ban yes and do you know a lot of people are falling into a if you ask someone why do you choose kamala Oh, because Trump want to do this, he want to do that. They are falling for this trap, for this programming. This lady actually spew out what I've been saying for a very long time. Now, taking a look at what will happen at the DNC, I believe you can see this. I'm not refusing that you should not have right, but look at what they're encouraging. Okay. Wisconsin is critical for Harris. Four years ago, Biden carried Wisconsin by just under 21,000 votes, the closest margin of victory of the election. While our polls show support from black voters has swung 12 points in Harris's favor. I'm leaning more towards Kamala. Melody Davey has not bought in. Trump's rhetoric has clearly had an effect on her in an astonishing way. Have you decided who you want to vote for? Um, uh, honestly, no. Um, I'm leaning towards Trump. And why is that? Um, a lot of the stuff Kamala says is kind of like what Trump has said, like no taxes on tips was something that was kind of reiterated by Trump beforehand. Um, she's just kind of been caught up in a lot of uh, lies. Like what? Um, I think lying about her heritage was one of them. Um, she's, you think she lied about her heritage? Yeah, I believe she's just Indian. I don't think she's black. She's She is always identified as black. She uh, is half Indian. Well, I think that's something we can definitely agree to disagree on. And there was no convincing her otherwise. Yes, there is just one thing I like about this interview. We talk to real people, see their reactions, see their reasons, than this pose. I don't really belief in polls. Now taking a look at this lady, she is actually putting out her reasons based on what she's observing. She's not that brainwashed. She sees the truth. She sees the past, what Kamala has been doing and what she is currently doing. She talks about her lies. 
Yesterday, I put a video here where Don Lemon went out to conduct interview to see how people are faring, who would they choose. He was shocked in the field because a lot of people are going in for who he never expected. That is it. And people conducting polls, I really wanted to see them do this because if they go into a demographic group of people that they didn't know that they support their candidate and conduct the polls to come and tell you, oh, this person is beating you, he's doing this. At the end of the day, this is real. Yeah, this should be what they should be doing. You know, the free world. I give you points the, for spin. The, the, that is, the polls are going spin. to decide who the next president of the United States well, the, is. The people are. The, and people. the people have not heard any answers from her on anything. Well, she's, surely... actually, she's actually not answering questions from voters either. She's answering questions from so nobody. So who's going to decide the next nominee? The media or the people? Well, the nominee who would you was rather just, interview with? The nominee was not decided by your party's who voters. Who would you rather actually. interview you with well, hang November? On. You just asked me a question. Who's going to decide the next nominee? Yeah. Your party voted for a nominee and then threw him out by the elites. So so that's well, that's already... not true. <laughs> he decided to step aside and gave the oh. opportunity oh, for really? Kamala Harris so all, to be I mean, our nominee. All of his own volition. I tell you what, guys. 14 million votes. In the won. house that Michael Jordan built mm -hmm. here at the United Center. You're right, guy. That was some spin, Am. The most amazing thing I've just seen on this video is the fact that his lies have been debunked in his face. We know what happened. He's struggling to spin it. Oh, he decided to step down because of his age, you know, things like that. On different interviews, I've seen Joe, I think about three, he made it clear. He was getting a lot of pressure. He had to give it up because of, I don't even want to go into that. We know exactly why he stepped aside. For a very long time, they pressured him. Nancy Pelosi played a vital role in that this guy will never accept because he just want to play along with his lies. Taking a look at Kamala, I saw a video today, I think on CNN, I was extremely shocked. A question came up to her that she should explain her economic plan. Her response shocked everyone, like seriously. It is important, and I will show you that video on uh, a different episode, so you see the paddling here. Excuse me, sir, Trump or Kamala? Trump. Excuse me, sir, Trump or Kamala? Oh, Trump, all the way. Excuse me? Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Excuse me, sir? Trump or Kamala? Trump. Excuse me, sir? Trump or Kamala? Trump. Excuse me, sir? Trump or Kamala? Kamala. Excuse me, sir? Trump or Kamala? Yeah, Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Damn Kamala. Kamala Harris is in office right now and has not tried to do anything about the border, has not tried to not tax people on tips, and has not tried to do anything about our failing education system. So everything that she's promising she can do for you on day one, she could do right now, but she's not trying to. So that's something to just, you know, for some Dems to take home. Just a minute around the corner. For some people, it's already started. But, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris,